So today we are going to see in this video how we can generate a PDF file having a barcode and for that uh, generation of PDF file we are going to use Timeleaf Apache FOP barcode 4G and Spring Boot. So Spring Boot we are going to use as we are going to develop an REST API and Timeleaf uh, we are going to use to process the XML template. So this is the complete process input is received from the REST API which is developed in Spring Boot. Now from there we use XML templates. Uh, I will show you how this XML templates looks and then we gonna use the Apache FOP and then it will be internally Apache FOP will call barcode 4G and generate the PDF output PDF. So this is the complete flow we are going to follow today. So let's dive into the implementation. We are going to generate the Spring Boot project. For that, I'm going to use the Spring Initializer. Uh, I'm going to select Java, which we are going to use. I am going to use the Maven build, and I will leave these rest of the things as default. Now, inside that, we need web time leaf to process our template, and Lombok also. I'm going to use for few of the functionalities. Now this project is generated we will copy this and utilize this inside our project we paste now it will get loaded once it is done we have the project ready inside that if you see we have a source folder then we have main and we have our main class Spring Boot application and then we have resources and templates. Now inside this template we need to put in our XML template which is responsible for giving the layout of uh, layout and details of the PDF file. First we have to design our classes. So I am going to write the API package which will have the controller class. So let's define this class as document controller will annotate this class with add the rate rest controller and inside that we are going to use our gen document generator service I'm giving this required our constructor because I'm going to use the constructor injection and Lombok when you define this and you use private final it automatically declares the constructor for you and it basically gets injected via constructor injection so this is the process for which we have used Lombok now here I'm going to define our method which will basically uh, get document method inside this we are going to use HTTP servlet request and the response part basically invoke this method when a user should hit the URL it should invoke this method we give the get mapping document is the path HTTP REST API call to reach here and give you the response back now your IntelliJ itself will say that you should create a service class so we use this and we create the service class we annotate this as service annotation because we are declaring it as service class now we need to define the template engine which is basically going to process our XML template this is timeleaf template engine and then we are going to add again the same required our constructor now do something which is we call the configurations for timeleaf so for that we need to tell timeleaf that these are the resource path these are the things which it has to process it has to utilize so we are basically doing the configuration for the template engine and making the timeleaf ready so we create this application config class we move this inside config package because it belongs to config 
now it's done we declare this as at the rate configuration it is again a spring boot annotation to declare your configuration classes okay so i have already stored this project in github so i'm going to utilize this as is i will describe the details so basically it is saying uh, that what kind of template we are storing we are storing an xml type of template the location of that template is class path templates and what will be the suffix of that file so this is whole process and then again here we are defining the spring template process engine in which we are giving the template resolver this particular spring resource template resolver as a bean and it will basically be now ready for our usage now in our service class we need to define so for generation of barcode now this all things we have done is just for uh, making the spring boot ready and then time leaf ready now we need two more components which is apache fop and barcode 4j so for that we are going to use our barcode 4j so here if you search for barcode 4j fop it will be giving you this page now here if you see it says to set up these things you need two jars barcode 4j and barcode 4j fop extension jar so that is what we are going to do now we are going to use barcode 4j jar which is this and we are going to put it inside our pom.xml as a dependency and the next one is barcode 4j fop extension maven we do that so it is going to give you this link we are just copying these things now it is the dependencies are there now we need to utilize these dependencies now how we can do that so if you see uh, for the barcode generation we need these kind of xml template uh, for fop and this is how it utilizes and here is the code you can different generate different different types of uh, code barcodes and it is one of the format currently we are going to use code 39 and if you open the apache fop documentation link it will give you how you can use it so we will go here and inside servlets if you see you will get the code so you just copy this come to come back to our this one we declare this also as final we want to inject get this injected at runtime and just copy this one and here we declare a method and http servlet response so in in here we need to import all the things we don't need this and here we are going to change this to runtime exception for now we can do the logging and have exception handling in a proper way but for now it is enough uh, for the demo purpose now in if you see here we are developing fop factory and then we are creating fop factory new fop factory and we are passing this response get output stream this is the most important part where the generated output will be written on on the output stream itself the response or uh, http servlet response output stream and the file which you are going to use is also with me i have already declared this file so you just have to declare this file inside our resources folder now i'll name that this file as code 39 fo now uh, if you see this uh, here we have the fop layout master and we declare the page a4 this is basically the complete pdf 
design how it will look what kind of dimension it will have and then we have the page definitions which is basically your details on the page which you are going to display and this part where we are displaying the barcode so if you see here we are using barcode 39 this is the code 39 format which we are going to generate using the data which we are going to pass and process via timeleaf template engine we are going to use the template engine processing now in here we will use this random utils and then here we have wrong import so we don't have to import it from java x naming we have to import it from java time leaf context it is time leaf context who is responsible for processing it and then here we if once it is run it is re read from the time leaf configurations what we did earlier we just have to pass because this stream resource only take input stream or file as we don't have file we are going to pass we are already having the string format we are going to convert it into the stream and that's it we are done when the spring boot application start it will basically load your application config it will keep the time leaf ready and then once the user hit the get mapping it will come at this point and from there you are having a call where I'm passing the request and response and then inside this we are creating the data which we are passing it to time leaf it will process and generate us the document and then after that we are passing it to Apache FOP and internally Apache FOP is calling the barcode code 39 and it will generate you the relevant document so this is the complete flow now let's run the application and see what we are getting as output okay so the so to call the document api we have to make a call to localhost 8080 and then we have this document endpoint defined there so we have hit it it has reached here and if you see we are having a barcode generated now let's save this file and see how it looks in the pdf so this is how it looks in the pdf now if you see it is a4 size paper we are having a title we are having everything over there defined and then we have a barcode defined here now let's do some changes to see whether it is reflecting or not so we are using time leaf as well so we'll add time leaf in the title part and see if it is getting reflected we'll restart the application and hit the end point again and if you and you can see uh, time leaf is coming again so this is the whole process the code is already present on github 